there folks, welcome back to Batman Return to Arkham Asylum and Black Templar, let's finish this game. Right guys, we're going to cover Harley Quinn's Revenge. Now this was DLC back in the original Batman the Arkham City game, where we're going to follow Miss Harley Quinn. Now, this is when Harley Quinn's popularity was starting to skyrocket. I mean, it's not as it is now, which is like mega stardom. This is when it was starting to rise, when she was starting to become like a very popular character. So we're going to follow her story. Now it does contain spoilers from the main story, which we've already seen. So this is a side story. So let's go. <laughs> well, she didn't waste time any, revving the police. Any news, Barb? No. He's been gone two days. I'm worried. You know what he said, Mike. All fine. I hope you're right. Harley Quinn's preparing for some kind of siege. What's she planning? Find Batman and get the hell out of there, okay? Don't worry, Barb. It's me, remember? You sound just like him. <laughs> right, so we'll be controlling Tim Drake. So Batman's been missing for two days. And Harley Quinn is up to something. Ah, it's a good way to shut him up. Who the hell is this loser? Robin, kill him! My face is land. Yeah. As you can see, Robin uses a bull staff. Yeah, that's you knocked out. Your turn. Get out. Right. Investigative for Batman, and he was rescuing a GCP officer. All right. Oh, that's old Harley Quinn's mask and costume. Now, let me read the backstory of Tim Drake. Now, keep in mind, guys, this is. Only version of Tim Drake. Remember, in the Batman Arkham games, some characters have changed, as you've noticed, with like Azrael and all that. Tim Drake deduced Batman's identity. As I may have explained this earlier, but it's a little quick brief history. He deduced Batman's identity through, you know, his actions and his deeds, and he noticed Batman was getting a little too violent. So he decided to try and, you know, help you know Batman out by becoming a psychic of course at the time Batman didn't want a psychic because well he lost one prior and he didn't want to have another person get hurt however all the other members of the Bat family plus Alfred saw this change in Batman and decided he needs a psychic Barb I found the missing cops Quinn's got him oh great negative I'm gonna keep looking Harley's telling the cops she's got some sort of plan for them. They'll be safe for now. Be careful. This will end okay. I promise. You think? He's not been the same since... He won't even talk about Talia or Joker. We'll help him once we find him. That's all we can do. Right. And let me explain what's going on after I want to finish the expo. So... Yep, because Joker died. Uh, let me finish the explanation. After when the Joker... That's one of those robots. When the Joker, um... Sorry, no. When he Heard figured out the Batman's identity, he get over the bus. tried to implore him to take him on as a sidekick. And but Alfred also seen the problem with Batman. He decided to... need to find Batman. Alright, Batman. He decided that Alfred it. would intervene yeah. and tell Bruce, look, and Dick Freeze as well, he told, look, you need a sidekick. You've never been the same since what happened to your last one. 
you What's need yours? the psychic. And eventually Batman relented and took Tim under his wing. Now, Tim Drake, like I said, is not your typical Robin. He doesn't want the cow. He's made that perfectly clear. However, unlike Dick Grayson and his previous one, which I am leaving till later on because that's going to get revealed in the next game. He was more of a detective. He used his brains more than brawn. You see, Dick Grayson was a loyal student and he was an excellent acrobatic. While... Oh, got some tricks here. Snap flash. Zab. Bullet shield. Could have told me that before. And... The previous one was a bit more violent. However... Tim was not that way. He was more of a detective. He used his brains. And that's what Batman liked about him. Because he used detective skills instead of, you know, agility or brute force. Right. Um, use zip kick. Okay. Whoa. I have some kick. Now, back on the story of what's going on with Batman. Why has he not returned? Why is he in such a dismay about Talia and the Joker because he didn't save them they both died I think in one way he would have taken Talia's death pretty hard but he would have gotten over it eventually oh, no, I got a better idea takedown ow Let's get rid of you. Back off. That's all of you. And he's thrown into the water. Whoops. Now, the Joker, he would take it a bit hard, but he wouldn't take it as hard as he has now. You see, to Batman, he does not want to kill, if he can help it. Like I said, he doesn't want to kill, but if it's in a situation where he doesn't have a choice, he will have to use that kind of, you know, force. Bullet shield. Oh, so it's given us... Nothing. Oh, that's why. That's actually quite handy. I wish Batman had that. That would have been handy. Okay. Oh. You don't understand. No, really. Unless you think. <laughs> Unreal, the bullet shield actually does that. Why the hell does Batman not have this in his arsenal? I mean, seriously, look at this is a freaking good piece of kit. Okay. Okay, why the hell does Batman not have this in his freaking kit? Now oh, I see, it's got limits. Why the hell does he not have this in his kit? Seriously, why does Batman not have this in his freaking kit? Shield bash! Hmm? Hello? Are you there? What's happening? <laughs> What's wrong with you people? Hello? Whoever you are, I know you're there. Okay, this one's a long one. Alright. Go on, pick it up. No Alright, so we're gonna fight all these bozos. There's really fun. Why? It's just a belt. No, 
It's Batman's belt. It's Robin. I <laughs> got two of them. Yeah, I've got a bow staff, so I can hit back. Oh, now that was just damn cheeky. Oh. Now that was just bloody cheeky. Shocked out. Now that's just bloody cheating. <gasps> oh no, you're all dead. Who's gonna save Batman now? Yeah, you could tell she's going a little bit more dark and gothic, but there's a reason for that. As you well know, she's mourning the loss of Mr. J. The funny thing is, right, in the Monday, you know, comics, she's doing well without him, in my view, she's done well. Now, I haven't think, I haven't what, read much of Harley Quinn as of late. So what? It's still just a belt. Why? You afraid of a little electric shock? I'll do it. He's screwing with you. No, I'm not. Knew it. Last guy who tried to pick up that belt got 50,000 volts running through it. It's Robin! Back off. I don't care who you are, guys. If you take a bull staff to the head, I don't care who you are, that's gonna leave a mark and it's gonna knock you silly. Oh, look, get this off him. Okay, now how the hell are they getting so accurate? Right. Let's try and fight on my terms. Right. I'm above. He doesn't know what. Come on, I got rid of three ones and I get sucker punched. Good. I hope it works. Yeah, right, Harley. Anyhow, let's try again, guys. I mean, it's not a hard concept to do, it's just it's just that electric shock and whoever's throwing those blade things Go accurately. On. Get off. No way, man. That thing's dangerous. You saw what it did. Robin, he's here. Oh, come on, piss off with a knife, would you? Right, whoops, miss me. Come on. Nope. Oh, what? That knife again? Oh, 
Right, that's a one gone. You scared, Robin. You should be. No, I just want to get you out of the way. Okay, how the hell are you so freaking accurate? I want the knife guy, not you. Just get him out of the way, would you? Right. No. Right, let's get him out of the way. There we go, that's holding down. Get out! <laughs> Bloody hell. Oh, there's Batman's belt. Kent, what's going on? Have you found him? Lost property. Two days earlier. Oh, we're going to be covering the bat now. Just keep the damn site covered. Don't want that mad woman getting out of there. Understand? Harley Quinn. <laughs> How'd you guess? Her goons ambush my guys and drag them towards the steel mill. Ah, they can't get close. I'll handle it. You sure? You know she blames you, right? Could be a trap. Fall back and stop anyone else getting hurt. I'll handle the rest. Right, so come in, Batman, how this happened. Now, she blames him for Joker's death. Now, in reality, no. Joker did it to himself. What did she Okay, she brought a lot of goo. Kill Holly to give us something warm to wear. Wait, how how many guns did she have? And I get sniped out. Right, I'm gonna have to do this more stealthily. Joke. Pay for letting me. 